Hi, I'm Bryn Binger, and I'm with Brianna Knott. This week, we're going to be talking about the movie The Pacifier. We forgot to tell you last week that we were going to be doing a different theme for every movie. Last week, we did a Disney movie. This week's an action movie. Then we are going to be doing a book, ba- a movie based on a book, and then what the final m- week we are going to be doing a sports movie. Brianna, your turn. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today at the Five Star Podcast. Like Brent said, we're going to be talking about the, the movie called The Pacifier. If you're wondering what it's about, what it's rated, or how long it is, I'm going to give that information to you. It's rated PG. It was made in 2005. It's a comedy action. It's an hour and 35 minutes long, and you can find it on Disney+. Plus. What it, if you're wondering what it's about, obviously, that's what I'm here for. Elite Navy SEAL Shane Wolf fails to keep his scientist, Howard Plummer, safe from assassination. He gets a shot of redemption by protecting the scientist's five kids. But these kids are a pain, and they are pushing him to the edge. And then some characters, Shane Wolf, who is the main character, he's a Navy SEAL. Then we have Zoe Plummer, which is... One of the kids, she's the oldest. And then Seth Plummer, who's like the set the second like oldest. Um and then Rand has the rest of the characters. There's also Lulu Plummer, she's the third oldest. He, um the principal and Julie Plummer the mom. So yeah. Um that's most of the characters and that way you don't get confused. Okay, <laughs> Rihanna, what's your favorite part? Um, I really like when Lulu is in Girl Scouts and selling cookies. Mm. And then, spoiler alert, <gasps> beats up the Boy Scouts. Yeah, they come in and, like, harass them. Or <laughs> they have, like, little, like, scarves. Yeah, like they're purple to represent fireflies or something like that, because that's what their thing is called. But then, um, they, um, beat them up, or they always... The girls beat up the boys, because the boys always steal their cookies. Don't mess with us. (laughs) And then, um, my favorite part... My, like the last, like last week, I like the part when they all... When all the action rises up and like mm-hmm. stuff like that, yeah. But um, yeah, that's when like all the, it's that's when all of the uh, action starts rising up. And my favorite part is when the Shane Wolf comes in t- in the house or like knocks on the door and mm-hmm. he and Lulu um opens it, screams and shuts the door right in his face. <laughs> but yeah. What's your least favorite part, Brianna? Um, my least favorite part has to be in the beginning when the guy gets killed. That's when everything starts happening, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't show any blood, just so you know. It's no blood or anything, because in, mo- in the beginning of the movie, it is a little bit, um, it's mm-hmm. like, Intense. Kind of. I, I mean, know. for little kids, maybe. Yeah. But my brother watches it, so it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, it just has a little bit of action. And then, uh, oh, like, there's some blowing up stuff. Yeah. But, like, that doesn't, there's no blood or anything at all. I yeah. Don't think. But, um, my least favorite part, um, spoiler alert, is when the principal and the main character, Shane Wolf, he actually has a crush Mm -hmm. on her, and my favorite, my least favorite part is when they kiss. (laughs) 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 Don't like that part, because it's creepy. I've watched, I don't know, I've watched a lot of movies with kids, um, (laughs) (laughs) They're good movies, though. But, yeah. um, 
Can you spell out my least favorite part? Or, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, what's your favorite character, Rihanna? My favorite character has to be Lulu. She's <laughs> she is something else. She's great. Yeah, um, my favorite character, I'd say, uh, I would say, um, Zoe, but maybe not. She's kind of a pain before they all start to get along. Yeah. Not really the mom. Um, but I don't know who my favorite character is. I don't really have one. <laughs> but, um, forgot to say, there's, we only listed off three kids. Zoe, Seth, Lulu, and then there's also Peter and Tyler. Peter's oh, like... Yeah and t Tyler's like a baby so that's yeah. like quite of an age dif uh, age difference especially but because like Zo Z Zoe's like a she's gotta be like a senior or junior right cause she has trouble with driver's ed like in the movie yeah so but I def I don't think she's a no because a different state they have different like right. laws yeah so I'm guessing she's like a sophomore or something like that could be. Cause she's Seth, who's the second oldest, is taller than she is. So I thought he was the oldest, but he didn't drive. So I was so confused there. But <laughs> now you're not confused. Um, Zoe is the oldest because she's driving, not and she is short. But um, and then there's um, Seth has to be a, like if she's a sophomore, he has to be like a freshman. Yeah, or a sophomore, and she's a junior. I don't yeah. think she's a junior. Oh, I know who my least favorite character is. It's probably Seth. Or, oh. um, or Zoe's boyfriend, Scott. Oh. I don't like him. him. He's ugly. He's ugly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, Seth, probably. I don't know. He kind of seems like a baby to me. I don't really, he seems like that type of person. I mean, he joins wrestling because his dad wanted him to, but then he quits and does uh, drama, which isn't bad, but spoiler alert. <laughs> um, and then Lulu's like 9, 10-ish, right? Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of funny parts in it yeah. and some action. My mm -hmm. other favorite part is probably when, um, she, um, when, like, a uh, spoiler alert, that, um, the, uh, uh, what the, they're, like, ninjas, oh, or, the like, neighbors. Spo <laughs> spoiler alert. That's a big spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah, it's the biggest, so, so you yep. might have to cut that out, but. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, that's when the ninjas come in and break into their house mm -hmm. to try to find the ghost. The ghost looks like a DVD, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And it has, like, it has, like, um, um, God, what is that called? It had, like, um, passwords and stuff on it, or, like, you know, to, like, oh. shut down a database or something mm -hmm. like that. But, um, it, people wanted it. Let's just say that. And then they just came yeah. <laughs> People dressed as ninjas came in and tried to steal it. But, of course, Shane gets it. Or er, takes out the trash. <laughs> Let's see. If you could change one part, what part do you want to change? In the movie? Yes. Um. Um. Obvious. Well... I was watching, I watched the movie this weekend, and I had a part in mind. Um, I kind of, I like the part when Lulu gets all, um, like, when they fight off those boys. Mm -hmm. I would not cut that part out, because I like that part. But then, um, I don't know. <laughs> I had one in mind. What about you, Rihanna? I don't know. I I think the one part I would change would be the 
party that Zoe decides to throw. And when and Shane put mm. like these little wristbands around their wrists to so he could track them, make sure they were safe. Mm, and yeah. when Zoe throws hers off and throws it into the sewer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um I might change the part where Peter yeah, Peter, like the fourth boy. Um, where he like has a um blanket, white blanket over his head is pretending to be a ghost because he was heard he heard his dad has like a ghost or whatever. I'd probably change that part because that's not really necessary. I mean, there's also the part the it's kind of funny, but the part where um Tyler gets left at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that was Peter. Oh, Peter. Okay, Peter. Tyler throws up at the nanny. Oh I get rid yeah. of the nanny. I don't like her. She's yeah. a, she's kind of creepy. I agree. She, like, yeah, she's creepy. But Tyler threw up on her, and then she spoke in a language saying, you little puke machine. <laughs> so I'd probably cancel that out and don't have a nanny. But, um, yeah, we forgot to mention that part where the dad, Howard Plummer, who got assassinated because of the ghost, which, like we said, was, like, full of, like, stuff to, like, like, get rid of, like, if you had, a, like, a bomb or something, it could set off that or something like that. I, it was something like that. I don't know what it was. Mm. But, um, um, what would you rate this movie? Um, something out of five. Probably a, like, four out of five. Because I think it's a good, uh, I think it's a really good movie, but there's some parts that are a little bit, you know, that I don't like as much, I guess. Um, then I would rate mine, like, a three or a four. It's not the greatest movie I've ever seen, but it's a good movie. Yeah. It's a type of movie where you can just go in and watch. Yeah. Like, you don't have to be in a mood to watch it, because it, I don't like movies where you have to be in a mood to watch it. I kind of like to just, oh, I like this movie. Let's just <laughs> turn it on. It's also a good, like, family night movie, because it's all the, like, it's good for the entire family, not just the little kids or not just the stuff like that. Yeah, the, um, me, when we were, it was actually a, almost lunch, and my dad, we were trying to look for a different movie, and my dad suggested The Pacifier, and, um, we watched it and loved it, and then we watched it, like, day after day after day. <laughs> <laughs> we watched it a lot. Now, once you watch a movie a lot, you kind of, like, it starts to get old. Yeah, but I still like it. Same with The Greatest Showman from last week. Yeah. But like Rihanna said, a big spoiler alert, the ninjas that come in are the neighbors. They want the ghost. That are also horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also a... So, um... Oh, God. Um, Shane Wolf, the main character, the elite Navy SEAL, like his, um... His, uh... He has, like, a commander or a lieutenant or... S oh, his boss, basically. Yeah, like, I don't know what would you call that in army terms, in military terms, I should say. But, um, um, he was a friend with Shane, but he, um, like, um, betrayed the country by siding with, uh, North Korea. He thinks it, North Korea pays better. That's like a really big spoiler alert. That's like at the way end of the movie. But yeah. don't, like we said in the last movie, if you don't want spoiler alerts or if you want to watch it, do not watch this video. <laughs> but then the, um, um, he betrayed, like, he sided with the neighbors with trying to get the ghost mm -hmm. and yeah. he's been working for North Korea and he was disguised as like an American soldier or something like that. Right. And yeah. 
But over time, because the mom was gone w- to uncover the ghost, trying to help uncover it mm-hmm. with the whole assassination and stuff. Yeah. And um, <coughs> he, um, well, she went, he went with her, and that's why she and Wolf had to babysit his kids to find the ghost in because they, some- ne- they needed someone to watch them. Yeah. And over time, they, like, um, over time, they learn, like, fighting skills and stuff yeah. like that, like, kung fu and s- something like that. Right. So, um, I thought that really, I liked that part, like, when they're all getting along and he's just teaching them stuff, and it comes in handy at the end. Yeah. But, um, anything else? Nope. I think that's all for today. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.